All right, guys, just a quick video. I want to show you how you can create a liquid gradient animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now I have uh, created the similar animation previously inside of DaVinci Resolve, but that method involved uh, using a lot of nodes. This method is going to be simple and elegant. So uh, let's take a look at it. What you can do is you can go to generators and uh, start off with a four color generator or four color gradient generator and you can just pick any uh, color for your animation so let's just use the default values for now then what you can do is go up to effects and drag in the adjustment clip and put it at the top then let's go to the fusion page right so we are in the fusion so now what you can do is uh, we can after this media in one we can apply our first effect which will be the displace so this will be the displace node. Click on add. And as you may already know, we will need a fast noise for this as well. Um, so let's connect this fast noise to this displace. And uh, whatever changes you make to the fast noise will be reflected in this displace node. So let's make sure that we are uh, viewing this uh, displace node by just simply dragging it to the viewer. And now whatever changes you make in the fast noise will affect the displace node. So yeah, you can just go ahead and uh, change the settings over here. So such as the detail and all that stuff. You can see that we have some texture in our four color gradient. And then we'll go to displace over here real quick and change the refraction strength. And then go to fast noise and we will uncheck lock XY and we only need the X scale for now. All right, something like that. After this displace node, uh, you can go ahead and search for vortex and uh, there are two of these, so let's just use the first one. Click on add and uh, let's view this. This is what it is going to do. Make sure you increase the size like so and already have these sobly looking uh, waves. But as you can see, there is no animation inside. So what you can do is you can go to fast noise and increase the C thread. And uh, with that, you will have some kind of animation you can see that it is too fast. I don't like that uh, kind of movement. So I tend to use a really subtle animation for this. So let's just reduce the C thread. Um, so you can see that we have really small movements in our gradients. And that is what we are looking for. Great. So uh, what else we can do is we can also change the position of the in the vertex over here. So if you select that and we have center x y we also have the controller on the viewer over here so you can move around and you know create your cool animation over here but as you can see that if you just go beyond the canvas over here you can see that after some time you will again have these uh, straight lines which we don't want to fix that what you can do is we can after this is space one add in a transform node so type in xf and click on add and now you can um, go to this transform. Now, if you go ahead and change the position, you can see that I'm going to cut off over here on the edges, but we can fix this by changing the edges mode to a mirror and that should fix it. And now if you change the position, you can see that your gradients will have this continuous flow uh, like so. Great. So let me just uh, center this up. Now, if you change the position of the transform and move it after the vortex, if we now change the transform node over here, you can see that it's not actually going to work as expected. Uh, you can see that it's going to mirror, uh, but we don't get that seamless look in the gradients, right? So you can change it to duplicate as well, but it won't work. So yeah, the essential takeaway here is that we need to make sure that the transform is uh, before the vortex over here. So I'm going to undo this. So yeah, go ahead and animate the transform. So I'm going to go to the very first frame, create a keyframe on center X, Y, and I'm going to go to the very last frame and you can change the position. I'm going to have a really subtle position animation. So uh, we'll, our gradient will flow like in a really cinematic fashion, right? Something like that. You can disable the high quality option as well to have a smoother playback. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Uh, you can go to the vertex as well and change the amount of power and uh, you, know, you can play around with these settings, change the angle, you can twist it more if you want. 
so we'll have a more cooler looking um, flowing gradients you can go to the edit page you can see your animation over here and if it's your playback is slow you can go to playback and uh, check the timeline prox resolution and set that quarter and your playback will be real time uh, great you can extend the length of the color gradient as well and you can match it up match the length of the adjustment clip as well but uh, you're gonna um, see that if you go to the fusion page then your keyframes will be in a different uh, position you can see that our last keyframe is right at this frame so we have this entire animation which is empty over here so we don't we need to make sure that we uh, we move these keyframes forward in time so click on this zoom to fit icon and just push it to the last frame like so alternatively what you can do is you can start off with your uh, desired length so if i go to the generators fusion uh, sorry for color generator and i can just uh, make it 10 seconds long 30 minutes long whatever length you want and then your adjustment clip will be the similar length and then you can start you know uh, going into the fusion and creating all these nodes over there so that is pretty much it uh, see you guys in the next one